These are the Valve Index controllers. And as you know, they cost $279 and in Europe even 299 euros. Now for this money, you expect a perfectly flawless product. Unfortunately, this does not seem to be the case because more and more users report that there is actually a flaw. And the flaw is that the thumbstick is not clickable when tilted to a certain direction and I must tell you yes I have exactly the same problem and it does bother me because for 299 euros I do expect a flawless product but even this is already very bad and it, it feels like it shouldn't be like this especially after they had been in development for such a long time what really bothers me is how Valve reacts to the problem because they don't seem to own that problem and they say hey that's like this by design. Why I don't think that's a great way to react to this problem and why I believe that you, if you have this problem, should send them back and RMA them is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. If this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about VR and Aerosmith and if you appreciate independent reviews, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. As you know, I'm a big fan of the Valve Index controllers. I believe that at the moment, these are the best controllers on the market, even though I told you that I believe they could be more ergonomic. But at this moment in time, I'm kind of like disappointed with Valve. As I told you in the very beginning of this video, there's a problem with this thumbstick where you cannot click it in or will, where it will not click when tilted. And that is for sure a problem since there are games where you want to tilt the thumbstick and where you want to press it in. Now, for some people, it even doesn't register the click in even though you really press hard and well, actually Valve says that they should, th these controllers should still at least register that you want to click it even though you don't have this clicky feeling or that clicky sound. Now for me, the case is I cannot click it and it even doesn't register. That is a huge problem. In games like Arizona Sunshine, you want to use this functionality when running or also in other first person shooter games. This is like a normal mechanic that we all get used to. So first of all, I believe it's, it's kind of strange that this kind of problem comes up. And well, it's not a problem for every single Valve Index controller. Like for some people it works, but for most of the people who have this controller, it does not work. So it's a bit strange to see that Valve now says that by design, you should only be able to click this button when it's in the center position. And actually they didn't really like let out like a public statement. Where did we learn this from? From Reddit, from somebody who sent in a ticket to Steam and they got this reply. The thumbstick was designed to be clickable when it's straight up which enables games which use the thumbstick as an accessory button to work with the index controllers. In addition, we expect that all thumbsticks should register input when pressed while tilted, though it will require more force than when pressed in the center and may not produce the feel of a click. So in my opinion, this doesn't make sense at all. And it seems like Valve is trying to dodge the mass RMA bullet here. Why doesn't it make sense? Well, there are some Valve Index controllers that don't have the problem and that do click no matter in which direction you point the thumbstick. So this already doesn't make sense. Also, if you think about it, if you look at the VR market and if you look at the controllers out there, even the worst one, and this here is the worst one, the Windows Mixed Reality Controller, the original Windows Mixed Reality Controller, even for this controller, you can click the thumbstick no matter in which direction you point and you don't need to use more force 
when you are not in the middle, but yeah, pointing it somewhere. So it doesn't make sense that these controllers by design are designed in such a way that, well, you have to use more force if you tilt them into any direction and try to click than if you have them in the center position. It doesn't make sense at all. Now, the problem seems to be that the little rod that the thumbstick rests on, it seems to be too short. And there are actually some users who posted some workarounds onto YouTube where, well, you have to take the faceplate off, you have to solder some extra metal onto that tip to make that rod longer, and then everything will work fine. However, I want to tell you here right now, please don't do it. Because if you do so, if you start to solder and all these kind of things, well, you're going to void your warranty. And you shouldn't need to void your warranty in order to get a controller that is clickable, right? It makes sense. So don't do that. What you should do instead, you should not let valve get away with a tactic of dodging this bullet they should totally help you to get a controller that works perfectly so what you should do instead and what i already did send in a ticket tell valve hey i have a problem with your 279 dollar controller it does not work as expected and i expect this controller to be clickable no matter in which direction I point. So at the moment, it seems that actually they do replace those, but only if you can show them that, well, if, if you point into any direction and click, even though it does not click, that the, the pressure, it does not register. Just then will they RMA this controller. In my opinion, even if the pressure registers, but you have to like use lots of force to have it register this press, that's already wrong. Because if you have to use excessive force, well, you will use the grip button and you don't want to use the grip button right when you use this excessive force. And well, it, it simply shouldn't be like this for a device that costs $279 that you have to use more force when you are like pointing into a direction in order to click this button, it doesn't make sense at all. So in my opinion, don't let Valve get away with it and send in that ticket and tell them like, no, you want to have a replacement for this. And if we all do this, Valve will actually see that, hey, this is a problem and they have to solve the problem and they have to change the design and make it clickable wherever you point at. Now, in my opinion, Valve is doing a big mistake by not owning this problem, by not solving this problem, because, well, it's going to be really bad for their reputation. And they are so new in this hardware game that actually now, in this time, it's actually when they form, when people form their opinion about their customer service. And, well, dodging this bullet like they do now, it's really, really bad for their reputation. Just think back at another company like Samsung when they had the problem with their Galaxy Note 7 that sometimes would explode. They did the right thing. They said, sorry, we're going to take back any of those Note 7s, no questions asked. And actually I was owning a Note 7 and my Note 7 worked perfectly. But well, of course I also exchanged it and well, I got the money back, no questions asked. And that's why Samsung totally, yeah, they owned this problem, they solved it. And now they can keep on like selling their Note 8 and Note 9 and very soon also their Note 10s, right? So yeah, they did the right thing. And in my opinion, now Valve, you also have to do the right thing. If somebody sends you a ticket and tells them, hey, I cannot click it, in my opinion, you shouldn't tell them, yeah, okay, but now jump through this hoop and show us that actually this does not register. In my opinion, it shouldn't be like this. And you should simply say, okay, you're right. There is a problem. We do have a problem. These rods are too short and that's really unfortunate. But you know what? In, in the future, you can always trust us when you buy something for $279, you can trust us that 
We're going to give you the perfect product and that's why we're taking it back. We are reworking these controllers so that they, they always click and register without having to use excessive force and every, everyone is happy. So I think Valve, that is really what you actually should be doing and I do hope that you will go down this way. And for all of you guys who have this problem now, don't try to fix it by yourself and void the warranty. Instead, go into Steam and write them a ticket and tell them that you want a perfectly working controller for your money. So for all the people out there who think like, okay, but I really seldomly have to press this button when actually pointing forward or pointing to the left. Well, yeah, that's true. Probably you're not using it all too often, but sometimes you will. And actually like one, like just today, I had this moment where I was playing Defector. I could play it a day or two earlier, actually. It's a great game. And well, I played it on my Rift S with the touch controllers, with the Oculus touch controllers. Everything worked perfectly. And well, also in Defector, you actually have to press forward and click on the touch controller if you want to sprint and I was just thinking oh no all of the index users who paid like a premium to, to get the index they will feel really bad if they try to play defector using revive because well this functionality of like pointing forwards and then running when clicking they won't be able to do so or they have to use excessive force which will feel strange so in that moment that's bad also let's think about the following let's say you are buying like a very expensive car let's say a ferrari and well everything is really nice and you love how it drives and everything is nice but the windscreen wipers they don't work well even though let's say you are living somewhere where it seldom rains you won't be like you know what most of the time it doesn't rain no you will be like hey, I paid so much money for this car, I want it to be perfect, right? So please fix those windscreen wipers. And I, f I feel the same about these controllers. I paid so much money for them, right? $279 or 299 euros if you're in Europe. And for that money, I simply expect a perfectly working product. Now, I really want to know, do you feel the same like me? Do you also think like, hey, Hey, 299 euros, 279 dollars for that kind of money. I simply expect a perfectly working product. Do you agree with me? Please do let me know in the comment section below. I really want to know what you think about this. Or do you think like, hey, it's all right. I simply love the controller as it is. And I really, really don't use this functionality of clicking this button. So I'll be okay with it and I'm not going to send it in. Please do let me know in the comment section below. I'm really looking forward to find out what you think about this issue. All right, that's it for this video. I truly hope that it was interesting for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click on the bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. That's it. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.